how do I sow my seeds? So many people ask this question, so I thought of making a quick video on that. If you see this particular compost, soil based compost for seeds and cuttings, either you can take this or you can take a multi purpose compost and use seed tray sieve and basically sieve the compost like this so that all the lumps will be left over and only the compost underneath is very smooth and it's like a cotton so that seeds can easily push through and come without any issues after you sieve your compost into minor uh, you know spongy kind of compost and then i generally mix with uh, perlite so basically it just retains the water in the soil so that you don't need to keep watering for the seedlings very often generally you don't need to water the seedlings until they get dry on the top if you put uh, either perlite or vermiculite it's going to retain it for a long time and I also mix a bit of cocoa coir in this. I just basically use it on a regular basis. It's not mandatory this perlite, vermiculite or cocoa coir, but uh, make sure that the compost what you use for the seedlings is the fresh one, not the old one. And also make sure that there are no lumps. Otherwise, seeds are going to struggle to break through the soil and come out after your compost is ready seeding starting mix or whatever you call that and then put them into trays if you are using any uh, trays like this or you can use uh, you know anything like this uh, you know any other uh, uh, you know basically i i also use these are the ones uh, that i get from the supermarkets after use uh, you know then I basically clean them and can also use something like this and then you know make the holes like this and then label what you're going to plant there and then put the seeds in then fill the leftover compost that is on top of it then whatever seedlings or seeds water the seeds seed trays you know using um, make sure that uh, they are not spilling the seeds out of the compost so nice and gently i basically use my own homemade watering can with the holes from used milk can so you can use them for multi purposes after you water them properly the seeds in a trays put them in a tray and then if you have any lid like this you can place the lid on top of the tray so inside the tray the seedling trays are there and uh, what happens is if any temperature germinates within the lid that will stay inside so it won't go out and also it creates like a mini greenhouse environment so that's why seeds can have some sort of warmness within it and then they try to germinate as soon as possible